guys welcome back to my channel this is serial gaming here and today we're going to talk about dorgan but before we get into that i want to just go briefly through about lise lise get a little bit upgraded as well she gets more aura right now and she's unbreakable to the entire party as well as provide a very nice last stand to the entire party as well so i would say lise is really good in my opinion as an uh, ld only unit Personally, uh, if you're a newer player though, you can opt to skip her, but for me, who has her kit already, it's a very nice upgrade for me, so I'll probably run her more often, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, Dorgan gets his new kit, um, so his skill 1, his skill 2, his EX and his LD all has actually decent amount of HP attack, but the best part about him is actually his follow-up, which is obtained from his skill 2 buff and his LD buff would upgrade the attack. It's an 3 HP attack split off turn damage every time when uh, you break an enemy. So the break mechanism that you need to apply is actually rather unique. For example, if you're using Vayne and if you break the enemy twice with Vayne skill 2, like if you break him with his first 2 bravery attack and then he'll unbreak the enemy and follow up by another break, it will not actually trigger twice of his FR. I mean his FR, sorry, his follow up. So in this situation, you actually need, you can trigger more than once, but you need to apply the break more than once. For example, if you use Vayne to break someone, and then the other units is still unbroken, and then Dorgan's follow-up breaks that particular unit, it will again trigger Dorgan's another follow-up. So in that sense, Dorgan can actually get more follow-up going on and fulfill his condition of his FR since that follow-up is actually tied to his FR as well which I'll be getting into it anyway Dogen's best part is he like I said you can fully abuse the fact that he can break the enemy and then get his FR going on and then get his follow-up going on which can do a lot a lot of damage the only problem with Dogen is if you're a newer player I highly do not recommend you going for him because he requires a more extensive team setup as compared to RNAM. So yeah, like I said, Dorgan is very expensive, not because of him, but because of the other unit that you will have to max to actually fully utilize Dorgan's entire kit. So like I said, if you're a newer player, I highly recommend not going for Dorgan. And even if you're a veteran player, if you do not have the right unit, Dorgan is absolutely not the unit to go for as well. Um, when I mean by right, I actually talk about units like Sephiroth, BT, that is almost a must if you're running Dorgan together because Sephiroth just provides so much more as compared to the other broken mode unit. Also another way to actually abuse Dorgan's capability is that if you recall, I played a stage 1, I think it's Minwoo stage, where elemental absorb is a thing and then I abuse the mechanism by using Core and Maria together to gain the uh, loop of breaking and unbreaking and breaking and unbreaking. So Dorgan can absolutely abuse that as well and that would actually make the fight so much faster. There's also another stage like the uh, Transcendent 10 if I recall. So Dorgan, if you pump enough HP damage bonus up, Dorgan's uh, LD attack, I mean the follow up attack can actually nuke the adds completely. And since the ads will always revive after they, they are being nuked, so Dorgan can actually keep going on and on with the infinite loop every time he breaks the ad. So that's also another way to abuse Dorgan. <clears throat> Sorry. All in all, I think Dorgan is an absolutely strong unit if you know how to abuse him. Like I said, he requires you to break the enemy constantly to be able to abuse his kit. If you're running him with Sephiroth though, I highly recommend you to only use skill 2 since it's the only single target attack. By doing so, you can actually allow the other enemy to not be broken during the first action and then Dorgan's follow up can break the enemy and then perform another follow up so it guarantees you at least 2 follow up every turn. Yeah, so uh, like I said, that is sort of like RNA in that sense, but the best part is Dorgan himself contribute a lot to his own FR as compared to RNA. So yeah, I think personally, uh, Dorgan for me, I'm going to pull him in my main because I have been waiting for him. I have been maxing Sephiroth from the start just so I can play him around during his FR. So yeah, personally going for him. What about you guys? He's, again, he's not a meta unit. He's not a must-have. He requires extensive team building in my opinion. So 
it's not really uh, the unit you want to go for as a unit for you to bring around every single stage. So yeah, let me know what is your plan for the character down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.